methane for the most part. Methane is 80 times as potent a greenhouse gas as CO2 tip. It is worse than coal. Now, in the United States... The gentleman yields back. Does the gentleman from South Carolina reserve? reserve. The gentleman from South Carolina reserves. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield two minutes now to the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Kasten. The gentleman from Illinois is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, you know, it's, this debate makes me sad. Like, energy policy is really important. Energy consumers are really important. The environment is really important. And so much of this debate is completely untethered from truth. There isn't enough time to rebut everything, but I want to clarify two points. One is where LNG exports are going right now, and the second is about the environmental impact. It is true today that the majority of U.S. LNG exports, the largest volume, is going to Europe. Um, and it's true that that really did help our European allies wean themselves off Russian gas. Now, that is not because the U.S. gas industry was suddenly imbued with patriotism. It's because they were paying more. Okay, fine. But all of the additional exports we're talking about, they're contracted out right now. They're going to Asia. So this is not a question right now about helping Europe. This is a question about, will they make more money going to Asia? Now, why are they going to go to Asia? Well, that brings to the second point. There's this assertion that LNG is inherently clean because it displaces coal. Well, let's be clear. No one buys natural gas so that it will be more expensive for them to make energy. It will displace coal if it's cheaper than coal. So y'all are to have us believe that we're going to export gas to Asia so that countries like China can have cheaper energy and make their businesses more competitive to be more competitive on the global stage. And you're doing that because you're so committed to environmental protection. Well, look, natural gas is methane for the most part. Methane is 80 times as potent a greenhouse gas as CO2, which means that if you have more than 2% leakage from the wellhead to the burner tip, it is worse than coal. Now, in the United States, that means that the wellheads, the collection facilities, the distribution pipelines, the combustion facilities, which we all in this body regulate, maybe we can get it down below that level. And maybe in the United States, it's less. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about exports. What is the leak rate on the ships? What are the leak rates on the regasification facilities overseas? What are the leak rates on the distribution facilities in those countries? And do we trust Chinese economic data so much that if they say, yeah, it's not leaking, we'll say, that's awesome. I'm glad you are so competitive. I'm glad you're out competing U.S. businesses. But 30 seconds? I yield the gentleman an additional 30 seconds. He's recognized for 30 more seconds. I'm glad we made you more competitive. I trust your data. And we're just going to tell folks at home that this because we were so patriotic and environmentally minded. Like I said in my last remarks, this is a really good bill if you want to make money exporting natural gas. It's not a good bill for anybody else. And let's just be honest with the American people about this. I yield back. The gentleman is really important. Energy consumers are really important. The environment is really important. And so much of this debate is completely untethered from truth. There isn't enough time to rebut everything, but I want to clarify two points. One is where LNG exports are going right now, and the second is about the environmental impact. If it's cheaper than coal. So y'all are to have us believe, now why are they going to go to Asia? Well, that brings to the second point. There's this assertion that LNG is inherent.